What's going on guys, C Zero Media here. Today I'm finally driving in a Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 10. This is the Evo 10 MR version with the DCT transmission that they would like to call SST. I have driven the GSR before but never the SST transmission. So this will be an interesting review for me. So first thing I'm gonna do is uh, the car is started up. It's got the co-op access port chain, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on and put the SSD system into super sport mode by holding it up top and I'm good to go. SSD system can be adjusted from normal sport and super sport and that basically adjusts the force that the clutch is applying to the transmission when engaging. So that basically changes the stiffness or aggressiveness of the uh, clutch when you're changing gears. So here we go. Now this is very weird. The uh, I've never driven an Evo without the clutch. It's so weird driving an Evo with two pedals. I feel like I'm missing something, but I guess this is something you are gonna get used to with the MR. The turning radius on this car is just as bad as my Evo 8. It's just what happens with these cars, with the transfer case being up front, and the way the engineers at Mitsubishi designed these cars, the first thing you notice when you get in the EVO 10 is the beautiful dash that's right in front of you. As I have always said, EVO 8s and 9s have garbage interior and they have significantly improved with the EVO 10s. You look in the center section and you got the beautiful DVD navigation system. Even the HVAC system has improved. Mitsubishi has gone away from the old school knob type diode HVAC control system on the EVO 8s and 9s. And now they have kind of stepped it up, so it looks like the Subaru WRX STI outer ring HVAC control system. Though so that is pretty nice. The seat in these Evo 10s is larger than the Evo 8s and 9s, and if you have a larger body type, you might prefer the Evo 10s because you got more room to kind of you know play in there while the evil 8s and 9s really hugs you in the seat i actually prefer the evil 8s and 9s seats because it really hugs you in there the seat kind of uh makes you feel like you're sitting on top of the seat not really in it the reason why my friend johnny bought this evil 10 is because he wanted a exciting daily he wanted something that was reliable more comfortable than the evil 8 and he didn't want to deal with the heavy clutch that you get in the Evo 8s and 9s once you start making crazy amount of horsepower. And it's perfect for traffic use because you don't have to worry about your left foot whatsoever. This car only has bolt on parts. A lot of parts from AMS, it has AMS intercooler, AMS intercooler piping, it's got AMS intake and full exhaust system. Suspension has been upgraded as well as the curb access tune that allows the car to make up to 27 PSI, which sounds pretty high to me on stock turbo, but we'll see here in a minute how that feels. I remember back in 2008 when Mitsubishi released the Evo 10 for the first time, I'm like, what is this car? It looks nothing like the previous generation Evos. It looks bigger, it's heavier by about 400 pounds. It's got the DCT transmission, which at the time back in 2008 was still kind of new technology. It was really the Germans, the Japanese with the GTR that really only had the DCT transmission system. So Mitsubishi really kind of stepped it to the next future performance vehicle category by incorporating the DCT SSD transmission in this Mitsubishi Evo 10. Some people like it, some people hate it. There's always gonna be people who prefer the manual transmission that you get out in the GSR. 
but it's gonna depend from person to person. In my opinion, the DCT transmission is perfect for daily use, especially if you live in heavy traffic area. Aside from the DCT transmission, this car also comes with a lot of electronic stabilization control systems like it does in a new GTR. Uh, it has the rear differential torque vectoring system. And I remember being at the track in my friend Jed's Evo 10 and he would just throw around the Evo corner after corner and the car would really follow without stepping out. It would kind of understeer at first but then it would correct itself and it would really bring itself around the corner. So despite the fact that this car weighs 3600 pounds, all the electronic control systems on the car makes it feel like a much lighter car. When I laid my eyes on the stock Evo 10, first thing I saw was what is this family sedan? It did not look aggressive like any of the previous generation Evos and I was quite disappointed. But over time the look kind of grew on me and I really like what Johnny did with the car. It's sitting at a perfect stance, it's not lower than hitting the ground or anything like that and it's got nice exterior modifications here and there. I really like the tail light that he has on this car. It gives that fancy European look to the car. The duck lip on Evo 10s looks so good. For some reason, Evo 8s with duck lips don't look as good as it does on 10s, at least to me. The Evo 10s really are more of a classier version of Evo 8s and 9s that's less aggressive and also it does not have huge ridiculous wing on the back. But one downside about the DCT transmission in the MR is that it will only hold about 400 torque. So if you want to make crazy amount of power like 600, 700 horsepower, you are going to have to rebuild the transmission in which case it's going to cost like five times more than the regular GSR five-speed manual transmission. If you do drop the transmission in these things, it is again five times more expensive than the regular GSR transmission because it is just that much more complicated. All right, now that we're done with the boring stuff, I'm gonna kick it up a notch and see how it drives. Okay, so the tire on this car is not the best as you heard, it was squeaking around the corners, but that's okay because it's the uh, daily driven Evo that he doesn't really take it to track days. So now I'm gonna see how it accelerates. First gear. Okay, all right. First gear roll. All right, that was about uh, three digits. I don't need to disclose the exact speed, but this car definitely takes off and it's a lot of fun. The DCD transmission is actually very responsive. I thought it would be more laggy. It's pretty good that Mitsubishi was able to refine the uh, shifting speed. It's almost as fast as the GTRs. I'm pretty impressed. Now I'm gonna try and see what would happen if I put the transmission in the normal setting instead of the sport mode and see how laggy shifting is. Alright, this is normal mode. Oh, okay, normal mode. I don't even have to use the paddle shift. It doesn't even rev out. It's like driving a automatic car. Uh, it doesn't even let me rev out to 7,000 RPM. So I'm just gonna put it back in super sport mode because that's no fun. So this car has springs and sway bar. And for the car that weighs 3,600 pounds, it's really agile. Of course the car stops great because it's got the Brembo's from stock, which I love about the Evos. A lot of people upgrade the Brembo's to like Project Muse and Stop Decks, but why? You don't need crazy expensive brakes unless you are tracking the car 24-7. The stock Brembo's work fine for the streets. 
Another thing that you should keep in mind if you have the DCT transmission in the Evo 10s is that these things tend to heat up. Even though it has stock transmission cooler, I highly suggest that you upgrade the transmission cooler like this guy did if you are planning on tracking the car. After all, I am in love with this Evo 10 MR. The SSD DCT transmission is actually way better than I thought. Now, I don't own the car, so I can't say anything about maintenance or reliability of this transmission, but just by driving it for the day, I am in love with this transmission and how smooth it's shifting. Well, that is it for today, guys. Thanks for watching my EVO 10 MR review. There will be EVO 10 GSR review as well as Johnny Sajuko EVO 8 RS race car review here in the next few months. So make sure to check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. The best way to describe the EVO 10 MR is a cheaper, slower, more daily driven friendly version of a GTR. It's basically got everything a GTR has with its DCT transmission and all-wheel drive system except at a budget price. If you have not hit the like button, hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my other videos. Thanks again for watching guys and drive safe out there. See you in my next review. Hello, oh, sir. Good. How are you? Yes, sir. And of course, with every Evo ownership comes tickets. We'll see how nice this officer is. Well, I talk about this all the time in all my vlogs, but Evos do attract a lot of attention, and that's just what happens when you drive Evos. Uh, speeding ticket, just another one to put in my beautiful collage of uh, speeding tickets. And uh, you just pay the fine and keep going. So, I hope you guys like the review because I'm gonna have to pay this expensive ticket and that's just part of the game and I'm just gonna keep going.